Balafor from uh, from Dawn of the Dragon is actually voiced by Batman. Um, Edgy here in the editing. Um, Malifaux is not voiced by Batman. He is in fact voiced by this guy. Look familiar? He should. It's Luke Skywalker. Tall Plains was once home to a proud ancient tribe called the Atlawa. Ah, oh, bless you. Sparks. The Atlawa were a people in tune with the rhythms of the seasons. Focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. They've all been driven Spire underground two, by Cinda and her forces, who have taken over the tribe shrine. I, I sense that's where Cinda is keeping Sil, trying to power another crystal. You must find him before she succeeds. Right. It's never easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. So now you're now starting with very philosophical, here, boy. huh? <laughs> Come on. Okay. This is not how I remember the tall planes. Oh, good old platform jumping days of the old Spyros. Can I break these? Kikiliti Battlemaker. Ikudar Fall Cutter. At least their names are changing. You know, now that I think about it, I remember all of the breaths. Um, fire, electricity, ice, and, um, and earth. I remember, but I only remember how fire, electricity, and uh, earth looks. I can't remember what ice looks like. Probably freezes the probably freezes the enemies, but I can't remember exactly how it works or how it looks. Am I even still on this? This is the way. Replace the gems with jaws. What the hell? Knew it, knew it. Okay, so don't step there, it'll be fine. He just committed suicide. He jumped from my Oh. The game got morbid. Whoa, hello there. Like I'm gonna let you survive. There we go. All of these bombs have had themes so far. So I wonder what will be the I understand the fire theme, that's a basic explosion. And I, I more or less understand the electricity theme. I mean the... Um, yeah, the electricity and the ice themes. Like cryo bombs and uh, EMP bombs. But how the hell are they going to make an earth bomb? Is that going to be like a shrapnel grenade or something? It's up here. Oh, sweet, i got to go here. Oh, look, it's llamas. How cute. See, this is why the breath is so OP. I'm just going to. Bye. I'm just going to toss all of them off the edges now. There's nothing they can do. The enemy, can my try. enemy, is my friend. Does that mean what I think it does? Yeah, we've got to help him. Oh, brother. Bye bye. No! Whoops! Mistakes were made. They were made. And I fell to my death because of mistakes. Don't make mistakes, kids. Bye bye. Well, At least they nerfed this bridge in the next game. Help. Well, the Atlawa and Kane need no help. Oh, just about to spring into action, huh? Forget this guy, Spyro. Come on. What did they want with you, anyway? It's none of your business. Now move. I've got a tribe to save. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just grinning now because I'm thinking of what's gonna happen in uh, a new beginning. Uh, I mean, um, in Dawn of the Dragon. That is absolutely amazing. I can't wait for it. 
Obviously, I can't spoil it because some people actually haven't played this game yet. Bye bye. Oh, hi there. I'm not going to bother upgrading any of my other breaths. I mean, literally, electricity is all I need. And then, um, the Earth Element's uh, triangle ability has a very powerful tornado it can launch. A tornado of Earth. Yeah. It does exist. What's that? Oh, that's the cannon I destroyed. Easy enough. Now, what about all of you? Why are you aiming, Spyro? I need to stop. Oh, you can actually take full damage? Cool. Didn't know that. I don't think you can take full damage in other Spyros, except when you, um, you know, fall to death like I, like I did. So I'm supposed to find all of these things. How do I? Am I supposed to hold in circle? Yeah, I'm supposed to hold it in. There we go. Okay, now I need one more to jump onto. What? I noticed there are less enemies here. I mean, the stronger ones, but there are less of them. So at least the. The game knows that fighting can get super repetitive. Thank you, game. Thank you, devs. Who made this again? I think it's Activision. I think. I heard um, Insomniac was going to reboot Spyro. I really, really, really hope that rumor is true. I would absolutely love it if they did that. Let me just check over here. I think I'm missing. Goodbye. Now, where do these lead me? Wait, that fall killed him? Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Are you kidding me? That's the way? Hazel Marrow, Shrub Marrow. What? Cows? Well, that was exceedingly stupid of me to miss. What? Birch Grove. Elm Bone Pine Vine. <laughs> The named after Pokemon professors. All of them are named after Pokemon professors. Okay, this again. Hey, there's a, there's a bomb, Spyro. Oh crap! Well, there's no cliff to toss all of you off this time, so I'm gonna have to beat the life of it out of you like last time. Okay, so he still sounds like a girl when he does that. It has to be a girl voice acting that for some odd reason. A little bit of trivia. Did you guys know that the voice actor for SpongeBob voiced Spyro in Spyro 2 and um what was it? Oh yeah, uh Terra Strong voiced uh who was it all? It was uh it was Blink the Maul, Flame the Dragon, and Ember the Dragon. She was all of them in Spyro 7. It was amazing! Oh crap. There are a lot more famous voice actors in those stories. I th even think, um... Uh, Malifor from, uh... From Dawn of the Dragon is actually voiced by Batman. Um, edgy here in the editing. Um, Malifor is not voiced by Batman. He is, in fact, voiced by this guy. Look familiar? He should. It's Luke Skywalker. 
awesome people! Come on, come on, um, took our wound, 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 wound arrow. Bye bye. Exfertic Panther Dreamer. What the hell? No, no! Okay, fine, fine. Have it your way. Jeez. Okay, I can't toss him in for some reason. No, what the hell did you. That actually worked. Why did that work? Right, just stay down there like a good little whatever you are and get shocked to death. So, how are you guys liking the series? If everyone even made it this far. Oh, that uh, that can't be a trap. No way in hell. Here, here, guys, go into the non-trap. Calm, holly, cedar, cheddar claw, cheddar claw. Okay. Well, that's not nice. Timber elm, green foot. Jesus, tank. Well, come on, Mr. Tank. Let's see how you handle this. Who are you? Come on, Mr. Tank. Tank? Tank, son! Are you waving goodbye? Oh well. Bye bye! Not a tank now, are you? Oh, you wanna fight me here of all places? Stupid apes. Oh, so terrifying, so intimidating, so, so dead. Bye. Okay. Main twig grand trunk. Bye. <laughs> Did he wave back? <laughs> I love this. Secrets. Give me secrets. Give me secrets. There are no secrets. Why? 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 I. Hi. Well, crap. Secrets. So where do I go from here? Oh, should I should I go over the bridge or should I look for a more complicated way of doing this? I wonder. This kind of looks like the last area. going to have to use the water wheels to move ahead. Well, this one looks a bit puzzle orientated. Oh, it's never easy. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode off over here. But, again, I'm going to be um, starting the next episode immediately. I've been recording for a little over 30 minutes now, which probably is going to be like 10 minutes worth of footage. But again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, whoa, whoa, who you calling a mosquito? Besides, 